said Trinity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sinfulness and let us be sorry for them. So we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth be to people of good will. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in confessing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his progenies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first, before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and the fields were not made, nor the cl first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then I was beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, 
adore God. How wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, our You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all the things under his feet. O Lord our God, All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, our A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears, and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today is uh, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. We believe in God with three persons, or there are three persons in one God. It is very difficult to totally understand this mystery because it is a mystery. It is God's transcendence or you know, we understand that God is totally above us. That it's really difficult to fathom the whole being of God. But even if it's difficult to understand Him, but we experience Him. We experience Him because He is within us. He is with us in our midst. In theology, we call it the eminence of God. And so, we hard, we, we have difficulty understanding Him using our intelligence, but we experience Him. We experience His presence. We experience His presence as our Father. We experience His presence as our brother, who is Jesus, who adopted us, His brothers and sisters. And of course, we experience Him in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And so, even, again, even if it's hard to understand him, we experience him in these three different ways. Now, three different ways, but one, there's only one goal. One goal is to love us so that we will experience that love. You know, there's this one priest that I heard because of the difficulty of explaining this mystery, he used the electric fan to explain it. Now the fan has three blades and one blade is distinct from each other but not separate. They are one. And then when you turn on the fan, the fan will blow the wind, the air that we need. So the Holy Trinity is something like that. One God wanting to express, ex to, to manifest his love for us in these three different ways. Three different ways, but one goal and one, uh, one love for all of us. And so we can probably say, we experience this love in so many different ways too. And we thank God for this love, this great love for all of us. And hopefully we can also spread this love, we can bring this love to the whole world by becoming his instruments, by becoming his conduits of spreading this love for all of us for the whole world. Now, 
Let us profess our faith and believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Assured of the love and compassion of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we call to mind our needs and raise up our prayers to God. For the Church, the holy people of God, that the Spirit of Truth may guide and inspire us to seek and rejoice in the truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they always remember the dignity of every human being, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For students ending their school year and beginning their summer of rest and refreshment, and for their teachers and administrators, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today to worship the living God, that the grace in which we now stand will lead us to be more conscious of our neighbors in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those on our website's vigil light list and written in our book of prayer intentions, especially for the people of Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from any afflictions, that they may know both relief and the grace that comes from having endured, especially those suffering from COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, may they share the glory of the triune God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And this Mass is offered for the intentions of the parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our F Creator, hear our prayers and welcome us ever more fully into relationship with you, Father, Son, and Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Strong protest. 
affliction finds. O Trinity, O Unity, be present as we worship Thee, and with the songs that angels sing, unite the hymns of Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, it took that chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
to me shall not hunger, and to believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you and I will raise you up on the last The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks to God. Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit, three we name Thee, while 